Hi Pisces, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you are cross-watching for a Pisces, keep in mind that the energy could be vice versa. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Let's see. Spirit, what are the messages for Pisces? Okay. Okay. So, uh, I saw judgment and then the Knight of Cups, Pisces. You know, this person still has feelings for you, okay, is what I'm getting. I'm getting someone that does have feelings for you, um, but look, they, they won't admit it or they hold back those feelings, okay? Um, Seven of Swords, <laughs> Eight of Cups, Page of Swords. You know, this person is even lying to themselves, I think. Um, could be an Aquarius for some of you or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But there's this energy of like, somebody secretly wants a second chance here, okay? Um, and I do feel like this person is trying to give off the impression that they don't. Okay, Four of Pentacles. This is to protect themselves from rejection. Um, protect themselves from, you know, you really. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Could be dealing with another Pisces or Cancer Scorpio. Um, yeah, this person does want a relationship with you. And they still think about it, okay? Um, but they won't admit it. Look at that. Two of Swords. And then I saw the Seven of Wands peeking out. Um, yeah, look at that. They won't admit it, okay? They're, they're too strong. They're, they're too... Uh, I wanted to call them strong-headed. Like, they have a very strong stance here. Could be some ego, right, issues, some negative. We all have ego, but there could be some, like, negative ego going on here. Um, but I do feel like this person would secretly like another chance with you. They are secretly still attached to you. Um, two of swords here, but <laughs> they'll never tell, you know. Um, I feel like this person has a tendency to be extremely indecisive is what I'm picking up on it. Like, I feel like they just don't know how to make a decision and stick with it in general. There's always, there's a lot of second guessing I'm picking up. They could be an air sign. Okay. Specifically a Libra, but there's a lot of, or they could have those sign, that sign in their chart, but there's a lot of second guessing in their energy. And they're definitely second guessing what went down here. The ending. Okay. Let's see. How does, how do you see this person Pisces? How does Pisces see this person? How does Pisces see this person's spirit? How does Pi the King of Wands? So there's a strong attraction, physical attraction you have for this person. You can see them as arrogant. Okay, some of you guys see this person is like very arrogant, um, very proud. Okay, but there is a physical attraction you have for them. I'm getting. This person could be very elaborate too with the king of wands like dress elaborately or you know they really like to be seen or at least this is how you see them you you see them as someone who likes to be seen um they could wear a lot of jewelry or you know there's just certain things about this person's uh appearance that stick out to you and i'm specifically getting like the way they dress okay or how they carry themselves here how does uh, Pisces feel? How does Pisces feel? Five of Swords. I'm getting you want the upper hand too. <laughs> okay. So, whoa. So this is someone you're in a conflict with, of course. But I feel like, you know, you want the upper hand in this situation is what it's telling me. Like, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see. How do they see? I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills all day long, guys. These energies are something else today. Let's see. Um, so how 
how do they see Pisces? How do they see you, Pisces? You could be distant, all right? You could be like actually at a distance, long distance um, for some of you. Let's see. They think you're the indecisive one. Interesting. We have Leo energy at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I feel like this person, they have not made up their mind about you is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like this person, again, they're very indecisive themselves, but I got to tell you, they also think you never prioritize the connection, um, that you didn't put them first. They think that you're someone who has a hard time making a decision as well. Um, now, I'm not saying you are this way. That's just how they see you. You could have been juggling a lot, right? Um, how do they feel? Seven of Pentacles. Guys, this person is still in, like, tell me more about that. Yeah, that's what, I, they're Pisces. They're still invested. They still feel invested in you, but it's on the down low. They're keeping this a secret. They're secretly invested in you. They secretly wish this would have worked out. And I say secretly because I don't see them admitting it, guys. I don't. Um, what do they want from Pisces? A reunion? A reconciliation? They want to come together, okay? The emperor could be dealing with someone that has a strong Aries placement, but I feel like this person would like for you to, to work this out. I feel like this person would like for you to, to have a mature reconciliation. Um, there is an energy here of even just being friends uh, with the three, uh, three of cups. Like somebody would like to even just ha still have a friendship with you, but I'm getting their feelings do still run deeper than that. Um, so, uh, Magician, Virgo energy. Me as a reader could be Gemini, could be Aries. Yeah, guys, look, they want to come. They want to come in and communicate, okay? And they won't. They, I don't. I don't see them actually admitting it, like to anyone right now. Like I'm just getting like someone wants to pick up. They they would like to pick things up where they left off. And the magician being here, you know, Mercury being in retrograde could have a lot to do with this. Okay, because I am getting like just a sense of really missing you, missing the connection, missing, you know, the good times, right? But it's almost like they're so stubborn, they, they refuse to actually say it out loud or admit it here. Um, I am seeing somebody wanting to communicate with you. And what they're saying to me is it's like, man, I wish we could pick things, we're, pick things back up where we left off. But there might be other things at play here with the Two of Pentacles, right? There might be some other issues. Um, and the issues are they never felt prioritized by you. But I feel like you never felt prioritized by them either. So what are their next actions uh, towards Pisces with the current energy? What are their next actions? the four of cups well, this person is really trying to ignore this okay i just see their next actions they're they're going to remain distant for now um they're really trying to uh sweep this under the rug but there is this internal war they have they're they're at war with themselves i feel like when it comes to love in general um what's what are their what are their potential next actions please King of Swords, uh, you know, being cold, aloof. There's, you could be dealing with another Pisces or an Aquarius, okay? 
Um, but their next actions are, they're just in this state of like confusion. They don't know what they want. Um, Pisces, and I just feel this person is, their next actions are to just remain detached, cold. The, the, the thing is, though, they're not truly detached. This is a show. They still hold on to it, right? They're still holding on to you. I feel like this person is, they, they're just going to keep their feelings to themselves, no matter how bad they would like to express it. There's an energy here of them, uh, you know, not thinking it's a good idea to tell you how they feel right now. They just don't think it's a good idea. It's almost like someone is hoping that it will pass. Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, they're hoping these feelings will pass. Give me one more card to clarify. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Not wanting to work on it. Okay, not wanting to face this is really what I'm getting. What's their hidden truth? but let's see <laughs> I wish I could share my good news with you so yes this is somebody that wishes uh, they could speak with you and tell you about their day I feel like someone may have used to talk to you about their day or you talk to them about their day I want to be more than friends for some of you guys there could be an issue with you two like actually coming together um, I'm afraid to contact you yeah because they're afraid to speak their truth guys they admire you. So that tells me they still harbor feelings for you. And for a lot of you guys, Pisces, this person may find a way to watch you or spy on you in secret. And it's like they want to pick things. The Mercury retrograde is really making this person want to pick things up where you two left off. But there's so much ego and pride in this person. And, you know, you see that. You can see that. And them seeing you as indecisive, maybe you were, okay? But some of you guys, this could just be projection. All right, Pisces, those are your messages. If this resonated with you and you like my style, I do appreciate you guys that choose to hit the like button as it does help support my channel. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, bye.